from scrap alcohol ink art to beautiful necklace good day everyone i am doing today necklaces from my alcohol ink that uh, did not turn out so well so i am starting with just taking my paper looking if there's area i like and the goal here is to choose part that are tiny but beautiful that will fit in my bezel for my necklace i've choose 14 millimeters um, bezel so it's quite small but i i wanted it this small um, you'll find them online they are easy to find uh, mine are in stainless steel so they won't rust and they will stay nice and neat um, so I will play around my actual alcohol ink that I already have um, keeping the, the spot that I like intact and just add some color around it so like this I can make other parts so I don't I don't lose that paper and just trash it I try to reuse, reuse as much as I can every time I can so this is one thing I do with my alcohol ink that I've I've messed up and I keep playing with the alcohol ink until I'm happy with the area it really need to be a small design so I want a lot of detail in a very small area so I just keep playing with it until I really like it and you'll see later I, I will really design each piece and uh, I'll show you exactly how I put my cabochon on top and really see what area I'm gonna I'm gonna have in my necklace now I'm not gonna show you all the alcohol ink I've done around like how I did um, I have other video where I do more detail on the alcohol ink itself now I really wanted just to show you the process of how I decide for which part I will choose for my necklace and how I make the necklace so I will move forward um, to the more interesting part that we for today so this is what my paper looked like at the end it just looked like a big blurb of <laughs> of alcohol ink it looked like a mess uh, I like it and what I'm doing now I'm just making sure uh, I have everything I know it doesn't look like I filled up my paper but my cabochon my, my necklace are 14 millimeters so I'm gonna have at least 20 necklace out of this and um, so that's that's plenty for for this batch so what I'm doing right now is taking my cabochon, which is a little piece of glass that will go on top of my art to protect it, and I simply move it around and see that if there's area I want to change, improve, or I want to keep it like this, and yeah, I just move it around to see what I like, what I don't, and make any change before I varnish. Now I'm varnishing, I'm having this huge box, I just stick my artwork in it and I use Krylon, Kamar, two layers and then I do a UV coat as well. So it's important to use the UV protection so it doesn't get yellow with time. So here I have my bezel and my cabochon, they are 14 millimeters like I said earlier and it just you you put the cabochon on top of the bezel so now I fast forward the process because I'm just placing all my cabochon around my art piece my artwork and I want to just see what it looks like uh, I place them where I like it I am doing 20 today um, you can do as many as you want of course you don't have to do as many um, once it, they are all in place I start tracing them So this is what it looks like once it is all traced up 
I am now gonna cut it out and you can also use a punch but I'm gonna do it by hand and the reason I choose to do it by hand instead of using a punch is simply because the punch um, in my experience did not allow a nice cut nice edge it kind of melt in the it stretches the edge when you cut it so I don't like it because anyway I will have to go back with the scissors I am now done cutting all my pieces and ready to set inside the bezel now it's time for me to make my resin mix I will I am using resin just because it's it's my favorite way of doing but I know there's a lot of different way to use to stick the cabochon to the bezel I'm using my mask a tiny tiny bit on my stick that I will put at the bottom of my bezel so I can uh, stick my artwork in it it's a very tiny drop and here is the artwork I make sure I turn it I place it exactly how I want it then I press to stabilize it in the bottom then I'm gonna go again and take very very little again um, here the goal is to have just enough for the resin to go to the side of my cabochon and so it can really be well stick to the bezel and my artwork without going um, overflowing <laughs> so here it is I'm gonna show you I go slowly I put it on and I'm gonna press gently on it because there's bubbles in it you can use a torch also before just before you put the cabochon but when you press it will remove the bubbles from under I just go gentle and tap on it to remove everything once this is done you're gonna let it dry for 24 hours no touching just let it dry fully uh, after 30 minutes though, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go check that all my bezel or all my artwork are perfectly intact. Sometimes uh, once it's there, it will set a little bit and you'll have a little bit of resin going on the side. You just take your alcohol, your isopropyl alcohol and you go wipe it off before it's fully dry. So that's an important step. So once all is done, and it's, it's drying after 30 minutes you just go back and make sure there's no leaking there we are 24 hours later it is dry it is beautiful I love the finish I love the colors and I'm gonna show you a few this is the chain I'm using it's a 18 inch um, it's very simple stainless steel um, another pendant sorry the off focus um, I just I love them so much they're so beautiful so shiny here you can see the back all clean because it has been washed with the isopropyl alcohol before it dries and if it needs an extra little cleanup just do it after also um, you just need to assemble your pendant to your chain and you're all set Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't hesitate to subscribe if you like. I have new video every week and I'll see you next week. Bye.